Hello and welcome back to today's Kubernetes talk series. So today in this video, we will be talking about volumes and type of volumes in the Kubernetes. So let's get started. So what are volumes? A volume in a Kubernetes is a way to provide the persistent storage to containers. Volume is a directory accessible to containers in a pod which is used to store data that persists beyond the lifetime of the pod. It decouples storage from the container, which means that when a container is deleted, the data in the volume persists. It means that it will remain. Volume can be created and managed using the Kubernetes API server and can be backed by various type of storage, including local disk, network attached storage, and cloud storage. There are several type of volumes available in Kubernetes. Let's discuss a few of them. First, we have the empty DIR, which is empty directory. An empty directory volume is created when a pod is created and exists for the lifetime of that pod. Data written to an empty directory volume is stored on the host machine local disk. When a pod is deleted, the data in the empty directory volume is also deleted. Next, we have the host path. A host path volume is mounted from the host machine's file system into a pod. This type of volumes allow data to be shared between containers running on the same host machine. However, host part volumes are not portable as the data is tied to a specific host machine. Next, we have config map. A config map volume is used to store configuration data as key value pairs. This type of volume can be used to inject configuration data into a container or to configure a Kubernetes objects such as pod. Next, we have secrets. A secret volume is used to store sensitive data such as password and API keys. This type of volume is encrypted and can also be accessed by container running in the pod. Next, we have PVC. A persistent volume claim volume is used to request specific amount of storage from a persistent volume. A PVC used to abstract the underlying storage system, allowing administrator to provide storage without knowing the details of storage system. Next, we have NFS. An NFS volume is mounted from a remote NFS server into a pod. This type of volume is useful for sharing data between containers running on different hosts. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we will see how to create this empty DIR and host path and how to mount those directories to the pod. Thank you.